I am sitting here with what is one of the biggest mistakes that I have made on Amazon so far. It's a Sperry shoe, terrible product purchase. Uh, I want to show you guys what those mistakes are so you don't make them because Adam Fisher, me, already made them. No need for you to make the same stupid ones. So let's not start off with the Sperry shoes though because I got a bigger one that is way more important, could hurt you a lot, a lot more than one bad product purchase. So I'm going over here, this is where, to my file cabinet, this is where I keep my receipts. Now, I did a terrible job of being organized when I started, and this is, this could cost you more money than one bad product purchase for sure. So right now, I'm gonna show you guys how I have it organized. It could use a little work still, but, uh, yeah, this is a good, this is good, this will be good enough to start. So I've got all these file folders here. Each one's got a different store in it. It's got my receipts in it for that store. Like uh, this one right here is for Kohl's. Oh, if you saw that video on the knife sets that I flipped, that one of my first videos, like my first two, this, those receipts are right here. But let me tell you why this could cost you so much money. Because if you spend... If you make, if you get more than ten thousand dollars worth of revenue on Amazon in a year, they will send you a little form you have to send to the IRS and uh, claim it all as income. And they will tell the IRS that you made this money on Amazon. So there's really no way around it. Uh, which you shouldn't be trying to evade taxes, anyways. But okay, I, we're not. Uh, but the problem is if you uh, made ten thousand dollars worth of sales on Amazon. The IRS is going to claim that all as income, so you're going to have to pay taxes on all of that as income, even though only a little bit was because you had to buy the freaking product, okay? Of that $10,000, you probably spent $7,000 on the product, okay? So if you don't have receipts proving that you spent money buying product, you can't write that off. And if you do try and write it off and the IRS comes and audit to you, man, you're gonna get screwed because you, you can't prove that you bought it. So it's really important to keep good paperwork, keep your stuff in order. Every single time you buy something, don't wait to print off the receipt. Instantly print it off if you buy it online. As soon as you get home, take that receipt out of the bag, put it with your other receipts. It is huge for returns, it is huge for, I mean, just everything. Don't, don't be lax on this, okay? That's the biggest, Biggest newbie mistake when it comes to arbitrage is not keeping good receipts. No doubt about that. So let's go into the fun ones. These are the product mistakes. You know, these ones are going to be a little interesting. So these Sperry shoes right here. I went ahead and got a lot of Sperry shoes I found at a shoe store. Right. Here's the big stack. And I had more. I probably had uh, probably four more pairs than this. And I bought them. I knew I couldn't sell them on Amazon because it's a gated category shoes. But, but, I was planning on selling them on eBay. I saw they were selling for, I bought them for 23. They were selling for like 50, 55 bucks. But they're selling so slowly. Apparently, I don't know how eBay works or I just have terrible, terrible product descriptions. They are selling one every other week. So it's taking me forever to get rid of this inventory. Thank God it's not that much money. But lesson learned for me, don't buy crap and try and sell on eBay because I suck at it. And more importantly, I, this is why I don't recommend, okay, side tangent. This is why I don't recommend eBay, period, because it takes you so much work. Every time I sell a pair of these shoes, I have to personally box it up. I have to personally pay for the shipping. I have to personally get this thing, make sure it gets to the freaking FedEx office. I don't have to do any of that with... Amazon because it's FBA so much less work. So let's let's go into other other mistake mistake number three uh, Now this one is just a situation where I got desperate buying product uh, This is pretty much where all these mistakes come from those shoes I would consider me just being desperate trying to get product Trying to do stuff on eBay and this one also desperate desperate desperate. So these right here. I've got eight piece Pan sets for your kitchen. Let's take a look at them. Good pans, at least they look like they're good pans. And I bought these, the pan sets themselves, the eight pieces, not selling at all on Amazon. But uh, my plan was simply to break them down. This is, this is a dumb plan. 
take the eight piece pan sets, break them down into individual pieces. It's, it's like, let's think it's five pans and three lids, break them down into those five pieces and then sell them on the individual listings, which we're selling. Okay. The individual pans were selling. Okay. Reasons why this is a terrible idea. One, you are not supposed to sell products unless they're in their original packaging. And this right here is definitely not the original packaging. You could definitely get in trouble for it. Uh, Amazon customers probably won't complain in this situation because of this, uh, this foam that it's wrapped in. So it looks pretty legit. Uh, but that's not going to stop like that. That's not going to defend you. That's zero defense. If somebody files a complaint, second reasons why this is terrible because these, these pans just were not selling that great. I, I just was like, oh man, I got to get another deal. Haven't got one in a couple of days. So I bought these. I was going to make like 70% of my money, but I've already sent in one of these boxes. I, I, I originally had three. I sent one in. Uh, some of the pants have sold, but some of them haven't because the pants are selling way too slow, even for the ones I have the buy box for. So those are the three big mistakes I made. These Sperry shoes, 23 bucks a piece. They will sell at some point, but I've got what? Six boxes sitting. So that's, you know, about $150 worth of stuff. These pans, I'll sell out the one I sent in, but I'm not sending these two in. I owe a friend some money for helping me in the business, so I'll give him this one as payment. So I'll get, I'll have 70 bucks there worth of pans that I got to figure out what to do with. I'll do something with them. <laughs> if you need some pans, I'm kidding. I'm not, I'm not sending you pans. But those are the biggest mistakes I've made so guy so far. I, I did talk about another one that I made with some video games, but. I only lost like six bucks in those, so that's not a big mistake. If, if you have made any of these mistakes, comment below. I want to learn from you guys too. This is, I am not perfect. I'm not a one man show. And like and subscribe, this, subscribe to my channel because I'm bringing you content that's more real than anybody out there. I haven't seen anybody like it and I haven't heard anybody tell me that. So uh, give me a like too. I always appreciate that.